Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We are in the Hillsbrad foothills today. We have just entered the Hillsbrad foothills and we have to make our way over to Terran Mill. However, I kind of remember that there, there might be a quest somewhere to pick up along the way. So I'm starting here so we can get our eyes on the zone for the first time in this playthrough and maybe check some of these guys it's possible that any quest they have would be gray, so I'm gonna go talk to this NPC. What now? Yeah, see, she does have a quest. Be silent and pay attention. I was sent to this position in order to survey the town of Hillsbred. My mission is one of reconnaissance. It is imperative that you send word to High Executor Darthalia in Terran Mill at once. Let her know that I, Deathstalker Lesh, send the following message. The Raven's Cry from the West doth beckon. Follow the road to the east and pay close attention to the signs. Off you go to Terran Mill, and with urgency, I must add. Victory for Sylvanas. And yeah, um, I'm hoping that the quest that these chain into will be green at least, so we can get some experience. Uh, but we're gonna grab that. The enemies look like they're level 21 starting off, which is good because I think one more level and then this bear would probably be gray, but right now he's... Solid green, so we're almost where we need to be. And then we just need to be finding some green quest. Or yellow would work too. This might be the latest that I've ever come uh, into Hillsbred Foothills. So I'm, I'm really curious on what this experience is going to be like for us. Because this is one of my favorite zones. Uh, these guys over here, level 25, I know we'll be fighting a lot of these guys, both for their skulls and for other items and quests that we're going to have over here. We've got the Vicious Grey Bears and then the Mountain Cats. I do want to reveal some of the map here, so I am gonna... I'm gonna run over here and we're just gonna see what we can unveil on the map. That way we know where things are when we get quests for them. Hillsbred Fields, okay. And then South Shore is gonna be down there. We're not gonna run over to South Shore. We're gonna give that area a wide berth. And just kind of stay away. We don't want to aggro any of the guards. We are at a PvE server, so we're not going to encounter any world PvP here that is going to stop us. But we'll stay well away from the town unless we have to go down there. Over here should be the Yeti Cave. Yep, level 31 Yetis, so... Not going to be fighting them yet. But there we go. The first quest that I remember here on Horde is uh, Bear Tongues and Cat Blood. So I, I think that might be one of the first things that we're working on, and then probably we'll be killing some humans shortly after that or along with that. Looking at our inventory, we're not doing too bad. We got a lot of free space. We could stand to use stand some more arrows, so maybe we'll be able to find an arrow vendor here. Although it's not guaranteed. There wasn't an arrow vendor in Splinter Tree Post in Ashenvale, so I don't know if there will be one here or not. But we're going to look around, and we're going to find out. You have a bunch of quests. Elixir of Suffering. Ah, another wretched day in Terran Mill. All this clean air puts me in such a foul mood. The sooner we can plague the humans here, the better. I've been conducting intense studies on possible killing agents to use in my concoctions, but I haven't the time to collect them all. Apothecary Linden wants you to get ten gray bear tongues and some creeper ichor. It's a green quest. Perfect. Set 
better be good. Looks are a pain. Flowers are blooming in Hillsbred, and the air is so fresh and brisk, I can't help but wallow in the misery of it all. I took out my grimy I look out my grimy window and long for the day when our new plague brings this world the death it deserves. As much as I would love to sit and brood all day, my duty to the Dark Lady calls. Help me, would you? My research leads me to believe I can make the most splendid death brew with the blood of a mountain lion. Trust no one. What also green. And elixir of agony. Another day, another elixir to be made. If it were up to me, I'd just let the pathetic humans and Scourge fight it out. They seem bent on killing each other as it is. Alas, our Dark Lady wants to help speed up the process a tad, so why not pass these morbid days by spreading a little death and disease across the land? Here's the plan. You go out to the Nether Nethlen Nethander Stead, south of Terran Mill and east of the river, collect six mud snout blossoms. So that one is yellow, so we'll do we'll do bear tongues, creeper ichor, and mountain lion blood. Just as I remember it. Should be a good time. What is it? The Raven's Cry from the West doth beckon? Superb news. Hillsbred is ripe for attack. We can carry out our plan of destruction now. Very Mothris will be pleased. Battle of Hillsbred. Stand at attention when addressing me, Hunter. I am under direct command of Very Mothris. We are to quell the human infestation until our apothecaries can develop the new plague. Our information leads us to believe that the town of Hillsbred is vulnerable to attack. Your first assignment is aimed at disrupting their food supply and infrastructure. Travel west. Raid the northernmost farms of Hillsbred Hill Fields. Make sure that the landowners, Farmer Ray and Farmer Getz, are executed as well. Trust no one. Battle of Hillsbred is green. Let's grab the wanted posters here. Syndicate personnel. Ten syndicate rogues, ten syndicate watchmen. Amassing in the ruins of Durnhold Keep to the southeast. Guys, we are going to have a lot of green quests to do. It feels really good. What now? Humbert's sword. Uh, let's see. Dwarven scouts and Dungrok. We're going to hold off on that one. The rescue. This one takes us into Durnhold. Me and some other warriors were sent by the war chief to retrieve an object from Durnhold and to investigate this so-called syndicate. We went to Durnhold to take a look around, but we were taken by surprise by a large number of humans. We fought bravely, but their sheer numbers were enough to defeat us. They took a few of us captive, but I was able to escape. So we'll be going to Durnhold anyway. Let's grab that now. And who's in here? A tailor? Okay, we don't need you. What we do need is uh, possibly a place to buy arrows. Another wanted poster. The following humans of Hillsbred have been deemed dangerous and are marked for bounty by High Executor Thethalia. Clerk Horus, Citizen Wilkes, Miner Hackett, Farmer... Let's grab this one. We'll set our hearthstone here, like so. What now? Yeah, let's check out who's upstairs, any vendors that we need. Doesn't look like it, just some captured farmers whose days are surely numbered. Nobody in there who's going to sell us uh, anything useful. What about over here? Thought I remembered an armor merchant or somebody. A weaponsmith. What are you looking for? Also is not going to have arrows. Uh, we're fully repaired, so that's not an issue. We can sell those. We can sell this. Ooh, we have arrows that are not in our quiver. Let's move those. That's a little better. Uh, we have about 800 arrows for now. That should be good. I, though it looks like I may have to go back to Undercity when we need to resupply, which is extremely inconvenient. You'd think they could just sell arrows here somewhere, but they don't. Uh, unless you guys know where an arrow vendor is here that I'm just not seeing, I'd be glad to hear about it. 
Uh, but right now, I'm going to assume that there aren't any. Uh, let's let's set out here. We have a lot of stuff uh, to do. We can just start killing indiscriminately, basically. Starting with the spider. I'm curious with us being overleveled if the drop rate is going to be better than it normally is. I remember the drop rate for the lion blood and the and the gray bear tongues being a pretty pretty crappy drop rate back in the day. And we were here on our undead mage a long time ago. So, I don't really remember then if we were at level or above level. But we'll see what the drop rate has in store for us. And we will try to remember to skin. Uh, good, we're not we're not even close to being capped on our skinning, so that that's good. Some of these some of these are level 20 which is not going to net us any kill experience but that's okay. They're going down really quickly so it's it's fine. Yeah, I feel like this is the ideal situation. If you can get your questing to a point where you're mainly fighting green enemies, it's just ideal in Classic. I mean, otherwise things take so long to kill. You have so much downtime potential between combats when you're fighting stuff at your level. But if you can wrangle it so that you are above level for your questing area, then that's, that's golden right there. We have, we have received one gray bear tongue. So it does seem like the drop rate is just, it's just bad. Which, you know, if you've done these quests, you probably already know that. I promise that eventually I will look for some better melee weapons. Let's check out who is in the zone exactly. Oh, not many people. <laughs> not, not many people at all, actually. Could just be because it's the middle of the day and people are at work. That might explain it. Ooh, there's a bear tongue. Once we get the Creeper Icker, we can move uh, 
out into the areas where we can get the lion's blood and head towards the humans over on the far western side of the zone. But I do want to stick around here for a minute when there's plenty of creepers around that we can maybe try to get our one creeper icker we need. And look at that, there we go, we are finally out of mana. It was a good run. We could probably just auto-shot most of this stuff, I could stop using Arcane Shot as much, and we'd probably conserve a lot more mana. And our kill time probably wouldn't be too negatively impacted. Uh, I am gonna go skin this bear. Our pet can get a head start on that creeper down there. Got a level 31 troll priest here. Uh, thank you, sir, for the power word fortitude. Can't give you any useful buffs in return because we are a hunter. Like the starving mountain lion here is just hiding in the brush. Seems like a good strategy. And yes, we could even, we could even track beasts. At least they're giving us uh, plenty of targets to choose from, even though the drop rate is kind of crap. We picked up a silver thread cloak, four intellect and two spirits. That is not really something we need. I think we are going to keep the we're going to keep the agility that we currently have. Looks like we pulled a cat along with the bear. That should be fine, not a big problem. Send our bear off into the field. I really love being able to send him out while we're skinning and doing other things and feel confident that he is going to stay alive and start wearing the enemy down. It's, it's good.
Uh, well, you know, we could just... We're probably gonna aggro them both, but I think that's totally fine. Even when we're low on mana. We just deal so much damage between us and the pet that it doesn't matter when we're fighting these low-level enemies. It's actually a bit of a relief. Oh, he the bear hates us, though. There we go. Oh, and look, we could probably turn Aspect of the Hawk on now, couldn't we? Might be a good idea. Uh, let's go this way for a minute. Probably use rapid fire on cooldown, otherwise we're never going to use it. Uh, we have a merchant, a goblin merchant down here. I do want to see what exactly he sells. I got what you need. Uh, you sell leatherworking patterns. That's actually uh, a little ways out of our wheelhouse right now. I'm going to grab those. Just in case I can actually get our leather working up. <laughs> Glad I could help. Which we might be able to do. I think I have a bunch of leather in the bank. Uh, these are st South Shore Guards. <laughs> South Shore Guards we do not want to mess with. Uh, we are really close to South Shore, yeah. I remember when I originally said we were going to avoid the area. That didn't work out. Alright, so this is about as close as we want to get. They do have their guards pretty far out in the field, for a good reason.
All right, let's feed Barely a tasty apple so that he can start dealing that sweet, sweet additional damage. Now that we've been going at it for a little while, you know, the drop rate isn't actually that bad. And then again, I guess the faster kill rate you have, the better the drop rate's gonna feel. We only need one more bear tongue, and then we have to find ourselves a creeper icker, which could take just as long as it took to find all the bear tongues. We'll see how that goes. I kind of want to stay out in the field until we've completed uh, at least these three quests, so... I don't think there's a lot of point in, in running back just to turn one in at a time. I don't know if they chain or not, but... I feel like we could just stay out here in the field until we uh, have completed everything. At least the green quest that we're tracking. Alright, there is our last Grey Bear Tongue. Now we need to focus on finding more mountain lions.